Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Ken Shamrock, Master of the Ankle Lock. Uh, so Shamrock is the chase this month. He is an Attitude Era aggressive technician. He has the Attitude Era link, gems do 10% more damage. And he has the Master of the Ankle Lock standard gear. He is a trainer. Color turn gems at 18k are going to do 100% more damage. Uh, that's a pretty big upgrade at the color turn gem trainer. Uh, coming to mind immediately would be Trick Ricochet, as that would benefit uh, quite a lot, as well as this month's um, free card, uh, Matt Riddle. Uh, I will actually use him on Riddle in my Riddle preview. Um, so I'm going to do something a little bit different at the start here. Um, I'm going to show his six-star build, what I would run um, if... Uh, I had him 6-star. So, um, you can see there's the Hurricane Rana, 7 MP. At 6-star, that's actually 146k damage and choose 6 gems to make into black. So the damage goes up a decent amount. The Armbar sub goes to... Um, stays 14 random gems for 3 turns, but it goes to 185k. So additional like 70k on the base. And then um, the 6-star move is the Northern Light Suplex, 9 MP deal 187k damage and force your opponent to skip their turn for two turns so it's a skip turn so um the way i would run him uh would be double green mp and then you could either start with the sub if you wanted or you could start with the choose into the sub or into the stun i mean i likely would do that um i think um you might have a little bit of trouble recycling um, potentially uh, getting back to the green so I would think I would start with the stun um, see if I had a green three match go about it that way um, I know I don't have it listed but heavy machinery off the skill plate part picker uh, to get three green MP when you swipe with the, it for yellow uh, would probably be okay um, I do think taker plate and or um foley's mask would be interesting two words for you i think taker plate would make it recycle pretty well with the stun uh to be honest you choose the black gems get the taker plate to go off uh you got the stun and then you know when you hit the arm bar you're going to generate a bunch of black gems it's going to blow up the taker plate probably pick up a bunch more green uh, i think that's how i would run that stun build do some more damage that sort of thing uh, probably run actually sub trainer for that one to get an extra turn. Um, so also feud perks have changed if you didn't know. So super sub is no longer really a thing. Uh, so 50% extra sub damage. So if you ran Bruno and the perk for 50% more, you're going to do, um, a hundred percent combined. So he would be doing, um, 360 K damage for four turns or about 1.3 mil uh jay would add in a little bit more there um so that's kind of a six star build set for him using the stun i'm sure there's other stuff you could do just kind of looking at it i think that would be kind of fun to play with um so yeah um the hurricane ron i'm actually not going to use in the preview um in the other move sets so that's also part of why i decided to do this i have three or two other two actual movesets that i'm gonna run for you guys um shamrock is kind of a different animal he has three subs and you know i'm not really sure how i feel about it overall with sub perks going away um certainly he will get the job done i don't think he's gonna be extremely speedy um, so there's that, and I do think this is my favorite build set for him, uh, with an all-heart skill plate. Speaking of which, that's what I'm going to be running. When you generate three or more submission gems, increase your green gem damage 100% for two turns, also your purple. We care about the green right here. Uh, nothing too fancy, 5% gem damage on the strap. Move damage metal is not great. I'm just stacking green gem damage in all my metals. Substat, 6%. Um, actually, I don't have one on that one. That's a generic substat 6%, substat 4%, as well as the 30% all gem damage. So, uh, just to get a little bit more green gem damage. So, 
86% plus the all heart plate when it goes off once and it will get it twice. So, all right. Let's take a look at the entourage. Actually, the moves, I should probably read them. Ankle lock, 10 MP, green submission, generate 30 random sub gems, do 124k damage for four turns. Um, remaining subs turn into botch. Armbar, 8 MP green. I can never say that without thinking about Jericho's armbar promo. Make 14 random gems into black gems, do 118k damage for three turns. Uh, remaining gems will turn into botch. So there's that. And then the corner whip clothesline, 7 MP black, deal 83k damage, make 24 botch gems into green gems. Um, so of note, um, the, the arm bar will be ready turn one with this setup because you'll get exactly 8 MP um, that you see on my screen. Let me put Lacey on uh, for green gem damage. Now the ankle lock will take one swipe unless you have Santa Hogan, no big deal because you've subbed them first. Um, so do keep that in mind. To get the most out of this build, you'll need the extra MP from Santa Hogan. Um, otherwise, it'll be 100% instead of 200. Won't quit hot quite as hard, but it should still be uh, fine. Actually, yes, it'll, you'll have to take a swipe, so it'll only be 100% instead of 200% bonus. Shamrock is definitely not my favorite choice uh, for chase cards recently. Okay, get that all equipped. There we go. The flat green gem damage is what you care about here. The green gem damage on Lacey there. Um, so, it is his primary gem damage, so that's kind of nice. Take this out for a spin. Let's see how we end up doing. Just going to start right off with the sub. So this sub with this build with new feud perks, uh, it's going to be 118k. Half of that is uh, basically 60k. You're basically going to do 180k for three turns in feud. Um, so that's 540k on that first sub. And then you're going to hit the second sub. So you can see our green gem damage right now is 36k. Then you hit the second sub. This gives you all the randoms. And this one is going to do 124k for four turns. So 50% feud perk, an extra 60. It's about another 180. So no, you're going to do about 1.1 million between the two of the subs in feud now. And the green gems are now 48k from the all heart plate. And now hopefully we get a big boom with a bunch of connections. which also recycles it. And 1.25 million. It does reload the subs, which then would reload the black uh, gem move. So that's the kind of how that's going to work. It's going to be sub, sub, um, blow up the board with green gems, and then repeat as needed. I do think that's probably his best move set. Although this next one might be more fun. Um, and also I'm going to make a skill plate swap for this one. Um, and I know I don't have common skill plates on for these. That's because I don't really see many of the common ones helping in his situation. Um, just for fun. Let's go ahead and put the head games plate on. I'll probably, and that last one is really consistent. That's the way it's going to run all the time. That's what it's going to look like. No reason to run it. Uh, multiple times. Now, this one, Head Games, increases your critical gem chance by 20%, creates 10 random botch gems uh, when the superstar lands a critical. So, hopefully, we can get a critical. A technician, let me, what are their base crit stats? I don't know right off the top of my head. 
Uh, it looks like zero, so he has a 20% chance to crit. If I'm reading that right, is the crit number, which I'm not sure I am. You think I would know that. And let's switch over to this moveset. Also, you're not generating multiple special gems anymore. Um, that goes away. So does plus two MP on a match. That is gone from perks as well. So a lot harder to fill your moves up. Those 10 charges become really hard to get to. And a three match is no longer going to give you five MP. It's going to give you three. Uh, so it'll only be one juggernaut gem because it's not special gem generate anymore. I suppose I should talk about the sleeper hold. That's his third submission. 8 MP red, choose 8 gems to make into black submission gems and do 107k damage for 4 turns while submission gems are on the gem board remaining turn into botch, headbutt, deal 90k damage plus um, 32k bonus damage for every botch gem, corner whip clothesline, 5 MP juggernaut, choose 1 gem to convert to 2 turn juggernaut gems that will gain red MP on every countdown turn and modify a 4x4 random area into botch gems at the end of the countdown. This, that is not accurate. You gain red MP on the first turn, not on the second turn. So it's not every turn. Uh, it's the first turn. Last turn is just the botch gems. So you don't get the botch gems and the red MP. That's important. If you got the red MP on the last turn as well as the botch gems, uh, that would be much, much better. But that is not how it works. Just want to clarify that. Um, this one I would also think armor would be the way to go because Fury won't affect the headbutt, so. Um, it looks like Botch Gem perk went away too. If we still had Botch Gem perk, this moveset would be a lot more attractive, um, with this move. So it's kind of, kind of funny. All the stuff that would make, uh, Shamrock a killer is now gone from the game. Um... So it's just interesting timing. Maybe there's stuff coming about, coming I don't know about. No idea. You want Stacy for botch gem damage, and then Shayna or Blue Blood uh, for botch gem damage uh, would be fine. Uh, if you don't have them, you could also throw um, Powerhouse Lashley on for the sleeper hold. So there's. Um, does the same thing, basically, as Shayna. I just happen to have Shayna on there. Blue Blood does. So plenty of options, trainer-wise. Okay, now this one, the order you use your moves really matters. Um, you want to hold the headbutt at certain times. So your Juggernaut gem won't be ready to go turn one. So, no reason not to hit this one this time, although there will be a few botch gems on the board. So, it might, you could argue it would be better to save it, because there might still be a couple left. So, I'm just going to save it, get a little bit extra damage, potentially. And, um, one three match will be good enough turn one. So, then it's a matter of trying to keep your, uh, botch gems alive. Okay. Now we can put our Juggernaut gem out. And then we'll have to give a swipe. Really want head games to go off um, for this to do its maximum carnage. So we'll go ahead and hit this, get a little bit of extra damage in. Okay. Not crazy. 300k damage. Not crazy yet. Really doesn't matter what color you pick. Uh, black would be better if it was there, obviously, to get back to um, that before the sub. More Juggernaut Gems is good. So then you swipe, and then they swipe, and then your red MP goes up. This is the turn you don't hit this because you don't get red MP next turn. So you just hit the sub, reload the Juggernaut Gem, and then um, try and hopefully uh, keep some botches on the board. It's going to get kind of difficult. So 
No big deal. If you lose some, you lose some. Okay. Now you're going to see red MP does not go up. Box gems go out. That's why it's very important to hold this back to get maximum damage. Now you go ahead and hit it. One point one million. Now we can put our juggernaut gem down. Get things started all over again. I only have plus one MP for two or perks, by the way. I don't think I mentioned that. And uh, let's go ahead and take a black match here. Now it's going to go off again. Boom. Fill our moves back up. We still have a bunch of botch gems. It's okay to go ahead and hit it now because he's getting really close to the end. Boom. So now he's got 599k left. <laughs> let's just do sure we'll do we'll make a five match why not let's try and get some damage because i think it's going to be really close on um if the sub takes him out or not four turns 108k that's 400k so we're a little bit short so i'm going to try and get some extra damage out of that like so so you can finish him off. And in feud, that sub is going to do uh, 150k for four turns, so 600k. So really, that's what I got for Shamrock. Um, not as versatile as I had hoped. Messed around with him a lot. These are the clear two best sets. Uh, I did try a tricolor on stream where you choose to get the Juggernaut gem to go off, but it didn't recycle. And... Um, even getting two juggernauts, it's a random where that 4x4 goes, so perfect placement and stuff, it just didn't work out well at all. So these are the clear the clear front runners um, that I've noticed. You could also work in a Rhonda's jacket, potentially with the sub that generates black gems. It's not going to be amazing. Um, they're just... I mean, he's got the subs. That's, that's kind of what he's got, and that's how it works. And kind of different not really my style personally so you know uh he is an s tier technician with aggressive shards that might be something to think about if he's not your flavor uh he is a good trainer so i will be happy to get him for the trainer ability i don't see him making my personal cut uh at technician <clears throat> or myself taking him six star and to answer the question that i sometimes do where would he fit in on my roster with techs and priority of leveling. Uh, right now, I don't really use anyone huge color turn-wise, so I don't think that's a big deal to me. Um, so I don't think I would rush him to 18k for that. And then as far as techs go, although I do have to think a lot about how the, the feud meta is going to change for me with the way perks are and stuff that are different. Um... I don't particularly love my techs right now, but I also don't think I would rush to level him, to be honest. So, um, as far as who isn't leveled at techs, maybe Roman because of the health steal uh, feud perk. Very interesting. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's Shamrock. Don't love him. He's okay. He should be very usable, just not very fast. When you extrapolate that to six star, and like 12 million health and, and 10 million health. Uh, it's going to take a minute. So let me know what you think in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Hopefully you like this video and find it helpful. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Good luck out there.